Okay, I thought in um, this particular video we'd have a look at shooting with uh, RAW on the Canon camera and we'll have a look at how to install the uh, Magic Lantern RAW on the Canon uh, 650D and also it'll be similarly installed to the 600D and the 700D as well. Let's have a look at that now. So the first thing you want to do, just check on your camera, uh, no matter what model it is, 600D, 650D or the 700D, what the firmware is on the camera. It, it doesn't make too much of a difference, but if you have the wrong firmware, uh, Magic Lantern won't work. So um, I'm just going to the menu, this is the 650D, I'm just going to the menu there. You see amongst all the options there, the spanners at the end, it tells you the firmware version there, uh, 1.04, that's on the 650D and that's fine for Magic Lantern. In fact, I think that's the only uh, uh, firmware version that has been for the 650D. So that's okay. For the um, 600D, you need firmware version 1.02 for Magic Lantern to work. And for the 700D, the only one is uh, version 1.13. So just, just double check that you've got the correct firmware. So that's fine for the 650D. Okay, the next thing you're going to have to do is just make sure your card is formatted and clean. So um, again, just in the, in the menu settings here, and if you've got any files on them, obviously make sure you're, uh, you're going to, uh, you've copied them away if you need them. So just go to uh, the first spanner there where it says format card, click on that. It's going to do a low level format and just format the card. And that's done. So I'm just going to take this out and I'm going to um, now copy the uh, software onto this. Okay, we'll have a look now just uh, installing Magic Lantern uh, so you can record RAW on your uh, 650D. Similar instructions as well, I'll cover them uh, on the, for the 600D and for the 700D as well um, but I'm going to show you specifically on the 650D and I'll just point out the differences for the other two uh, cameras because they're slightly different but very very similar so the first thing you'll want to do is to um, download for the 650D the um, version of the Magic Lantern software you're going to need for RAW and so if you just go to the Magic Lantern uh, homepage here, you can see there magiclantern.fm and you're going to want to um, check out sort of uh, stuff basically maybe on the forums as well regarding the camera so if you want to say look at stuff for the 650D I'll just quickly show you um, just type in there with search for 650D and click on there and you have a number of different threads on the forum regarding regarding that and um, for example if I go into the raw video one here your T4i 650D raw video um, you can see there you have lots and lots of posts about that as I said because it's cutting edge if you go back right to the first one and have a look down you'll actually see there um, it gives you from the beginning how to install so if you look at that first post there by Pete Tomov and I'll just click on that there how to install it does set out an install so it's a bit complicated so I'll go through it now and you can see it sets out the steps for installing the basic package and then I'm going to show you how to install uh, the particular part you need for RAW as well. So it is, it is a bit complex um, but I'll go through it and um, by the end of it you'll be able to install. So I'm going to show first of all for the, the 650D and I'll show separately then for the 600D and the 700D what the differences are. So for the 650D you can see there the first thing you just have to download the needed files and um, if I'm going to click on that one there this is the installer this will install the what's called the uh, fir file, the .fir file, and I'm install. I'm downloading that there now. You can see, and it's downloaded. and take a minute. It's zipped. It's going to open, showing folder there, and there it is, right down the uh, bottom there. I'm just going to copy that. It's good to keep all your stuff organised here because there's a lot of stuff you're going to need to do. So I've got mine in a Magic Lantern folder 650D. I'm just going to paste that. Uh, so I've downloaded that, that's the first step, download the uh, software you need. Next, um, I'm going to 
download uh, another file you need. You can see the EOS card, this one here, if you click on the link there, it brings you to this site, which is a, again another sort of free one. He's a guy who's doing this uh, not commercially, you can obviously donate. So bear this in mind, all of this, this is, um, these guys are all working on this and they're not giving you any guarantees, any of them, the Magic Lantern people. If anything goes wrong with your camera, um, they're not responsible for it. It may void, it probably will void your warranty with Canon. All I would say is I've used the Magic Lantern software and even some of the new stuff I'm showing you now, myself and my 600D, 650D, uh, Mark, 5D Mark II and Mark 5D Mark III and I find it works okay. But I'm not giving you any guarantees either. But I said a lot of people use it and it seems to work okay. Anyway, so for this one, EOS card utility here. Uh, I'll show you how this works in a second. Uh, it shows you a little bit about it. Quite useful on this particular site if you scroll down on that page uh, you can see there all the firmwares for all the different cameras. You've got them all actually uploaded here, which you can download. So for your for the 650D, you need that version of the firmware, um, 1.04. For the 600D, you actually need 1.02, but he's got the earlier firmware as well. Um, and for the 7D, is that version. So you can actually download the firmware for the camera as well. I do show in another video how to install the firmware. Um, and I'll put a link to that as well. So firmware we come back now there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'll install I'm sorry I'll download the EOS utility and this and if I open that there show the folder and I'm just going to copy that again into my magic lantern folder So I'm just going to put my SD card in my card reader and there we go and it's, um, you can see there it is and it's my standard uh, uh, settings there on the card, nothing installed on it yet apart from the Canon stuff and what I'm going to do is basically now run the EOS card utility if I double click on that, you see it opens and it finds my um, J drive there which is the card if it doesn't just double click click on that and uh, change it and I'm just going to make sure I deselect those for that if you click on that it says it makes it bootable you don't want to do that for this so just make sure that's clicked off so these aren't uh, showing it shows FAT32 which is fine because um, that's what the camera will format your um, a card as I'm going to show you afterwards as well how you can change that to XFAT which will allow you to have a much longer recording time but for now you've got to do it this way so let's uh, let's let's do it this way for now so that's that and I'm just going to uh, click on save there and the right was successful okay so I can uh, close that there is I'm just going to extract this. You can see this one we downloaded, the Magic Lantern one. Extract all, and I'm not going to extract it there. I'm going to extract it onto the card as well. So I'm just going to put it into there, and I'm just going to put it onto the EOS Digital. Don't go into the subfolders. It just must be on the root of the um, your uh, SD card there. I'm clicking on that there, so that's fine. And I'm going to extract. So that's going to extract all the necessary Magic Lantern files. Okay, you can see now on the card we've got a lot of these extra files, including this, importantly, this .fir. This is what's going to allow us to upgrade the camera to um, Magic Lantern. It's run Magic Lantern plus a Magic Lantern folder. There were lots of things in there. So having done that, we can now just uh, take our card and put it back in the camera. Okay, so I'm just going to put the card in the camera here, close it there, and I'm going to switch it on there, you can see, 
And um, I'm just going to go into the menu now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do, um, you can see if you go into the firmware version, if I click on that and it says it's 1.04, but I'm going to update it using the .fir file I've got on the card now. If I click on that, so it starts to load. You can see there, success, it's loaded onto the camera. And you've got to restart the camera again, which I'm going to do now. Start it up again. It's in manual mode, by the way. You need to have it in manual mode. And once uh, that's done, if I now click the trash button, you can see Magic Lantern there, version 2.3 next. That's from 2013. It's the first one you need to install.